day has begun. It's a big day. We are back on YouTube filming a video today, a very exciting one. We are heading out to an undisclosed location to do some aero testing with Jim from ERO Sports. And so we've got the car packed up, Millie included. We've got plenty of bikes back there. We've got plenty of spare parts. We've got uh, helmets and other things going on. And we are in Tucson. And yeah, today we're spending the whole day testing. It's about 9.30 a.m. And it's gonna be a beautiful day. It's already like 60 degrees and uh, super sunny. And so yeah, we're just super stoked to get some aero testing done. And we're gonna take you guys along for the ride and hopefully you can pick up some uh, good information along the way. So let's do this. All right, we're out here on the, uh, the TT road. Plenty of open space and daylight. Jim's here getting all uh, set up. Millie's obviously hanging out. And uh, we got all of our testing equipment. Ready to roll? <laughs> I'm Jim Manton from Aero Sports. Uh, we do bike fit and aerodynamic testing, and we combine those two things. And, and my goal with, with aero testing outdoors is to, to get people out of the static environment of a fit studio or a wind tunnel and into the real world. So every change we make, we're actually measuring how it works for you physically and biomechanically, but also how it affects you aerodynamically. So our whole thing is, why would you make a change if you don't know if it benefits you? And you can't always tell that in a, in a static environment, but outdoors when you're riding, you can feel it. Does a saddle position or aero bar position change uh, make you feel good? And does it test well? That's what we're trying to figure out. And then give me three at, at a pace you want to be riding. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Let's go ahead and step on the scale. Pick up your bike, step on the scale. With my shoes. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Okay. It's all good, don't worry. Good. Ten kilograms. Uh, back, how's your back? My back's fine. Not feeling anything? Still feeling good on the saddle? Yes, I'm moving just a little bit. But yeah, like I said, if we could get one centimeter, natural. right? Yeah. One centimeter. Wait, that'd be good. Okay. I know, it feels pretty good. I think it will be... It should be a significant drop in drag force. Okay. But let's, we'll wait and see the data. All right, so Jeannie has just done her first round of testing. I think she probably did how many runs? Five? I think so. Yeah, four or five runs, and now it's my turn. And uh, yeah, we got the, the new bike all set up, and we are, uh, we're pretty stoked. We, yeah, um, Jim just asked me what he thought my starting CBA was going to be, and <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out. Somewhere between two and three. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was good. Some technical difficulties to get going. Nice little flat tire. If you know me, that's pretty on brand. And, uh, <laughs> the most flat tires I've ever I known. Like issue or something going on. So, anyways, it was good. Um, yeah. All right. What's the next move, guys? We're gonna wait and see what the result is, and then we're gonna decide position-wise what I want to change. His head is sticking up a little bit more than I'd like so we need to find a way to get that down and there are different ways to go about that so cool. we're gonna decide how we're gonna torture him next <laughs> is this not just so on brand Justin oh an arrow tester's worst nightmare <laughs> sorry NV, NV 7.8 you're not gonna get tested today buddy hey, what a shame yeah <laughs> We're making progress, some progress. Made a uh, good little jump from uh, first test to second test, about eight watt improvement. So that was good. And um, what do we do? We went lower, we went a little bit longer on just the, on the extension. We kept the elbow pad in the same position. We've had some technical hardware 
difficulties along the way here in the first couple runs, but I feel like we're, we're making some progress now. And we made a couple little saddle adjustments here, and then we're gonna test this, see how we go. Good. I'm gonna give this another. <laughs> that's okay so, so now that we've done our interview <laughs> um we have nothing against that no nothing against but yeah it's a new year it's a new year new year new me so this is going to be run five i think and then we'll probably transition back to genie shortly after this but um we're trying out some new arm cups and so yeah we're gonna give those a crack and see how that impacts comfort and aerodynamics but so far i feel like we've found a pretty good balance um of both just getting a good position on the wove saddle and um, just some of the positional stuff on the angle and the height and stuff so yeah we're just gonna keep chipping away here it's probably also worth just discussing how sick this bike looks with the race wheels on it does look good it's <laughs> a good looking bike you throw the envies on that boy oof So we have been out here since 10 a.m. So that puts us at five hours and 40 minutes. And it feels like five minutes and 40 seconds. Um, just cause everything, I don't know, everything takes forever. And then it just, you know, you're going through the runs and it's, uh, it takes up a lot of time to, to run through these things. But so far we're making good progress. I saved probably about 15 watts um, and everything just felt like super comfortable. Like I, it, for my testing, I'm not trying to achieve the most aerodynamic fit possible. Like we could get into like the two twos if we wanted to, but um, it just wouldn't be sustainable for an Ironman nor would it be good to run a marathon off. So uh, we got it down to like two, four, nine, um, which is pretty solid. Still have three more runs. We haven't tested any equipment yet. That's just off positional changes and it feels better than it did when it started. So that's a big success. If you can get 15 watts quicker and feel sol more solid and more stable in position that's that's a great objective so um so far good progress for me Jeannie's made tremendous progress given the fact that she hasn't ridden this bike at all and feels really solid on it so now we're back with uh with Jeannie and we probably got another two hours of daylight and so she's gonna test some the BTA bottle mount and we've got some helmets to test for her and we're gonna go from there and then we'll see how much time we've got left uh, for me Got the troublemaker right there. <laughs> we just made, Jeannie just made a massive improvement in aerodynamics off of a very simple change. So now she has to go back and retest again and then potentially do a second retest. Millie hasn't been a troublemaker. She's been a queen all day. Not all week though. <laughs> <laughs> she only went to the doggy ER once this week. <laughs> we haven't slept much. Yeah. Okay, the team is tired, we're hungry. We literally have been in this spot for seven hours testing. But uh, yeah, we both made some good progress. I do think I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow and do a little bit more testing because we didn't get everything done that I was hoping, but you feel good about today? Yeah, I mean, uh, I had a really great experience. Uh, with Jim is awesome. He's just like really cool, made it super easy. And it's just like great to be outside and just taste in the real world like it's so much better than the tunnel to be honest so like i got a lot out of today and well it was mostly positional stuff but um i just feel comfortable and and ready on to train on my bike so that's the main objective so yeah yeah awesome and genie cda got <laughs> really low at the end so we were really happy to see that and uh, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow for some some more testing and just gonna try and get as much rest as we can tonight for another day of testing tomorrow. And Millie was a great- Oh, and Millie was the star of the show. Oh yeah, all right. Great pop. <laughs> Off we go. After sunset, I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, we made it out here on day two. 
probably looks like the same day, but it is the next day. And there's a uh, gym. We're all set up. We're going to re-baseline test. And we have an inkling that there might have been some uh, something fishy in the numbers yesterday. Just comparing some of my old wind tunnel data, the numbers skewed a little bit on the high end and we're surprised by that. So we're gonna do some new baseline testing and then we're gonna get into some more helmet testing and equipment stuff. Um, we're pretty locked in positionally, so that's good. And so hopefully these, these runs here after the double baseline will be good and uh, we'll bring you guys along for whatever moves we make today. Okay, that's one run done. And I think we were pretty consistently scratching our head yesterday because we didn't feel as though the numbers that we were seeing matched what it looked like. And that's not a fair assessment, but it wasn't, yeah, we didn't feel like there was, it was complete accuracy. So we just did our baseline today and it's looking a lot more in line with what we're seeing. So that's good, lower number, two, three, five. five. Um, and so that's just no different. We finished on two, four, nine yesterday. And now we're at two, three, five. I did make one small change. I put the bottle mount up front. So. Maybe this is worth 12 to 15 watts. No way. <laughs> no, no, it's not. No way, says the expert. But um, I think we're just going to go with that as our baseline and go from there. All right, now we're cooking with gas, making some progress here. We're down into the low two threes. That one was two, three, one with the cask helmet on. So um, I'm, I'm happy with that. I feel like we're making really good progress. I think we're getting into a, into a competitive state now <laughs> where I can actually um, feel confident about where I'm, where I'm pushing power and where I'm riding. So we're just gonna keep uh, trucking away here. Next up is testing NV versus NV. This is 6.7 front going to the 7.8 front. So we'll see what that does to things. And the 6.7 is the victor. And so uh, that's interesting because they suggested that I race that. And in my mind, I just thought deeper was better. And so the majority of 23, I actually raced the seven. And uh, so now I'm going back to the six. Next test, nice long socks. See what we think. All right, that's five runs in. And uh, yeah, eat my big rice crispy treat getting the carbs in and we're about to uh, see the results of the sock test which I'm very interested to see because these were like a, a lululemon ambassador sock and there's only there I think they're they're defunct now you ready yeah lap one two two eight lap two 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 seven lap three two two eight <laughs> two three one had been our lowest before putting those socks on my goal is to get under 2.4 today. So we're in the, we're in the 2.28s, two I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> the final test, and this is the one, the, the most anticipated test I'm sure everyone was waiting for. A one liter bottle down the chest for me, probably about five watts lower. So I've been doing that for what, a year and a half since it's been a fad and that's been the wrong move. <laughs> so no more chest, uh, chest bottle for me, which is good because it's probably gonna get banned anyways. And everyone that's getting the advantage, you guys, sorry for you. So anyways, we're done testing for today. It's probably about five o'clock. The final setup here, um, I guess the winds, I'll quickly go through the winds. The winds for me were lowering the front end slightly, some saddle positional adjustments, these tri-rig scoop SL cups, BTA bottle, NV 6.7, um, aero socks, full length, the cask, and no bottle down the kit. So, and final uh, CDA 228. So I'm happy with that. That's right in line with what needs, it needs to be to be competitive. And um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next video. Peace. Jim, anything to say? Don't be a drag. Don't be a drag. <laughs>
face, still move on the hush Never run for none, I face my fears I just drop for nine, month to month Still from year to year No watch, no diamonds, no watch Good timing, yeah All right, I almost forgot. Please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment down below with something that you found interesting or informational or educational or humorous. Just to throw one comment down below, and we will see you now actually in the next video. Peace.